What's going on guys? It's your boy DBGTX-YT here with the rules and regulation videos for the Dragon Ball Fighters tournament. This is one of those videos that honestly there's nothing really I should talk about uh, besides uh, <clears throat> the playing being a good sport honestly. So this video in particular is just going to be talking about um, a particular set of things that I'm looking for in the tournament. Um, there are no there are no rules per se as far as like uh, this this and that or you know like there's no real rules because uh, Dragon Ball Fighters is a 2D fighter, so it's more so about the. It's more so about a certain playing playing style versus the other. So, um, with that being said, this is um, what I will not tolerate, and I will uh, call you out for. Is if um, you're playing the weight and bait game. If anybody knows what the weight and bait is, they know uh, from fighting me, from playing fighters, they know I talk about this all the time. <clears throat> You're not allowed to sit on the other side of the screen and wait for your opponent. It's not allowed. I won't allow it. If you start doing that, I'll give you a disqualification point. Three disqualification points will equal your disqualification of of the t out of the tournament. Let's put it like that. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I, I do that is because uh, there's a lot of people who. I am almost guaranteeing we'll have a player like Goku Black or Frieza or um, <clears throat> Bardock, you know, or something like that. And what they're gonna do is they'll sit on the other side of the screen and wait for you to do, uh, wait for you to attack, and then do a down heavy or something like that, or even something, or even worse, just sit there and wait for you to like keep jumping. Like that's another part of the waiting bait, the, the the jump in and just keep pressing back, and you just keep doing that, and you don't attack, you just keep jumping and pressing back, jumping, pressing back, so you keep baiting the dude to keep to uh, to attack you, so it can auto so you can automatically get that first block thing, and then you start using your auto combo, you know that things things like that. Those are the things that I'm talking about in particular um, that I'm trying to avoid. Uh, a lot of people from just doing that's like if you just sit there doing that all day like I, I'm gonna have to say something about that um, the other part about being stingy or sportsman like Honda would be um, <clears throat> using usage of certain players so um, I know participants more than likely will use Android 16 and I know how a lot of people feel that Android 16 is just cheesy with all the grapples and such. And a lot of people do have combos that are like just infinitely linked to do to to with Android 16. So with that being said, if you are a player that will be using Android 16, here's what's gonna have to happen. <clears throat> when you use Android 16, there's going to be a cooldown time of two minutes. Uh, if you do any type of looped combo to continue doing his his combo or not the basketball dunks or whatever the case might be like that, there will be a cooldown of two minutes. So you will have to take Android 16. You will have to sub him out. After you do that combo, you will have to sub him out and you will not be allowed to use them for two minutes. I know when two minutes will be up because I will be looking at the timer on the screen. And if you throw Android 16 out before those two minutes are up, I'm gonna have you kindly toss them back out and you will get a disqualification point. That will be the penalization for people who think that it's gonna be sweet just thinking that they're gonna just use Android 16 and keep using assist combos. There will be a two minute penalty for you doing the the, the, the the infinite dunk combos or whatever. There will be a two minute thing, cool down, and if you toss out, if you toss out Android 16, 
you will get disqualified. Not disqualified, you will get a disqualification point. So, you guys have about four hours to get that down pat. So yeah, I don't have sticky fingers. Or yeah, change up your fighting style. Or yeah, change up the combo. Or even better yet, when you do the first dunk and you're going for the second one, you know, maybe you might want to consider subbing out there. And I won't have, and then won't, and then won't get you to that point. But the moment you do that second dunk, you automatically have to sub out Andrew 16. So that's the rule for Android 16 users. As far as that goes, everything else goes. I don't have any problems with <clears throat> you using anybody else or whatever. Um, let's, I guess, try to avoid mashing buttons. Uh, just using auto combos, but I mean that's something that 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 I cannot say anything else about that. Like that's up to you guys. Anyways, with that being said, that is all uh, when it comes down to the rules and regulations for the Dragon Ball Fighters tournament. So again, in review, uh, no waiting and baiting, no uh, no waiting and baiting session so no standing on the other side of the screen just ducking and dodging um no jumping and jumping and then pressing back and just doing that all day um and the second and most probably the most important rule for Android 16 users is if you do a you infinitely loop your combo you have to switch out Android 16 and you cannot use them for two minutes of the battle and then when you do use them, if you do it again, again, you cannot use them for two minutes uh, unless that's your final character. So, uh, yeah, good luck. Uh, with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys at 4.30. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the Jump Force content that I got going on on the screen, the rules and regulations. Uh, it's fairly simple. It's very important to have uh, good sportsmanlike conduct. That's just what I think. And I think that with that with that being put in place the way I put it in place, uh, we should have an efficient tournament without people saying that one person was just doing the same thing over and over. DBGTX, over and out.